Hello viewers, uh, today's uh, video is uh, going to be going back to slugs again. Uh, last time I used the slugs I had really good results with the uh, swaged Pro Hunter slugs, uh, 13 grains. I think out to 40 yards I was achieving around a 12mm group, so really pleased with those results. Uh, now one of the viewers, Mark Gilbert, contacted me uh, and said that might be worth trying the Wildman slugs in 177 because they actually do a, a 177 slug in 11.8 grains. Uh, he said he's getting really good results with his uh, FX impact and his uh, Air Arms S500 regulated. Both really good guns. Uh, we all know from uh, videos that Matt Dubber and the rest of them from FX is that uh, the impact do really well with slugs. It can be tuned for slugs and pellets. And we all know the laser accuracy of the air arms rifles. So I got back to him says sounds like a, a plan. I didn't realise they did slugs as low as 11.8 grains, which is basically not much heavier than, uh, it's about a grain heavier than the uh, Barracuda Match or the Bisley Magnum. So I thought, well, this could be a good one to go for. So what I did, I went online, I ordered 100 slugs uh, from Wildman at 11.8 grains. Uh, it was about £11 for 100, that was including delivery. Uh, you can get sample packs for £6.50, but I went the old log and got 100. They do do them in 200s and they do them in other uh, quantities as well. So I think the prices for the uh, sample packs are about £6.50, probably about uh, £11 for 100. And if you buy 200, it comes down to £18. So a couple of days after I'd ordered them, I got uh, an actual email from. Uh, I think it's the name's Liam at Wildman Slugs to say that uh, Mark Gilbert had been in contact said I was interested. Uh, so I think I think Liam was worried it might be a conflict of interest between uh, Wildman and uh, Pro Hunter Slugs, but it's it's not like that. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Uh, I'm just trying different slugs out to see how well they perform. And so everybody else that watches my video can see the slugs of shoot and see if they're interested or not. Uh, I mean, the fact that uh, both uh, Wildman and Pro want to do sample packs, if you are interested in that, uh, you can just get a sample pack, see if it works through the barrel. But uh, yeah, there's no conflict of interest. I'm just uh, lucky, really, that in this country we've got two families, and they are family businesses, that are doing slugs uh, for the ergon industry in, in the UK because as we all know, the majority of shooters out of the four million air gunners in the UK are sub-12 sub foot pound air gunners. Uh, out of that four million, I don't know how many of those would be uh, FAC holders, but I wouldn't imagine it would be much more than say tens of thousands at the most uh, but when you're looking at uh, slugs that weigh 11.8 grains or up to 21 grains uh, you're still within a, a 177 and a 2-2 trajectory really so both could do well it's horses for courses because uh, obviously you, you Slugs cost more than pellets, so you're not going to be using slugs for uh, range testing or things like that. It's too expensive to use pellets, but if you are in, into hunting or you need you need it for a specific purpose for some heavy impact, they, they are worth getting hold of. So my, my plan is to uh, test out the slugs and uh, just report back to how well I find them. Uh, now, just because it might do well in my barrels, or not so well in my barrels, doesn't mean say it won't do well in your barrels. Because every rifle is different, even the same brand 
and the same model of rifle. They're all they're all uh, individual barrels, so they might all shoot differently. So uh, that's why I go back to sample packs. Uh, so then, this video will be all about wild bun slugs, and Liam was kind enough to send me. I, although I ordered a hundred. 11.8 uh, grain. He also sent me 113 grain slugs as well. Uh, it does them in two different types. You've got uh, flat base slugs and you've got dish shaped slugs. And the ones I've got are the dish shape. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how they do. Uh, as I say, two uh, families that are do, do, doing slugs now. Uh, I mean, if you go on the website for Wildman. I think Liam has spent a few years in the military, uh, came out of that and got into uh, pest control uh, and he, he did that with his uh, then partner and now she's married to him. Uh, the name Wildman came actually from the son whose name is Wilder so they basically named the uh, the, uh, the slugs after, after Wilder, Wildman slugs. Uh, he's got two daughters, uh, and he's hoping that his son will follow on in the footsteps of uh, the business. Because he's, he's really into that kind of thing anyway. He's, uh, although he's young, he, from what I've heard on the Facebook page, uh, the old family get involved, so it uh, could, could be worth a look at, just, just for fun anyway. But uh, yeah, another good uh, company from uh, the UK. Uh, for all my US uh, followers out there, both these uh, slug manufacturers, they're doing them in all, all weights on low, medium, high weight slugs. So uh, if you're interested in uh, trying some out, I'd, I'd give them a go because uh, I've had really good results so far from uh, Pro Hunter, uh, especially with the the, which one was it? We've got the eye impact ones. They, they tended to do really well in mine. The others not so well. But uh, like I say, it's also of course as different barrels, like different uh, ammunition. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'll show you the range of the slugs, what they've got at Wildman. And uh, it's been really windy, it's, it's 17 mile an hour winds at the moment and it don't drop off until Tuesday, today is Saturday, uh, I think on, on Tuesday it's forecast for about 6 mile an hour. So rather than uh, test them in 17 mile an hour winds, although they should do better than a pellet would, it's not uh, going to be justifiable in 17 mile an hour winds to be shooting out to 40 yards with a sub 12 foot pound rifle. Yes, it will do better than a pellet would, but uh, not as good as if it was full power FAC. So on Tuesday I will do the uh, complete test down at the range. Uh, in the meantime I might do some uh, 20 yard back yard target shooting, just fire a few a few shots down range to see how it's doing closer in. Uh, and then we'll take it from there. But. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, big thanks and shout out to uh, Wildman for sending me uh, the, the 13 grain slugs. So uh, I, I hope we do well through the barrel. So uh, in the next part of the video, I'll be coming on to the testing. Okay then it's uh, Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna try those slugs out on the back yard range just to see how it's performing using the, uh, the Falcon. 
uh, I'm going to start off with the HP DB in 11.8 grains. I've cleaned the barrel and I've uh, lubed up the, the slugs as well. See, it leaves the 11.8 grains. Go for the uh, top zero target, see where we're hitting. So we're going high. Right, I'm just going to hold that down and see if it can be a bit low, but... Okay, I'm going to go for the bottom left target. That last one probably hit sideways. Pretty good group actually. Right. <clears throat> Let's do the 13 grain. Going for the uh, bottom right. Same hole. about that one. Really good. Intention is there. main group's probably about 10-11 millimetres centre to centre, so 
really good 13 grain it's very windy I don't know if that was affecting the uh, lighter ones what I'll do I'm going to shoot at the top target with the lighter ones in a magazine and see what we get Good magazine this one. Okay, top target. getting more affected by the wind than the 13 grain is. Uh, 13 grain on the bottom right is definitely one. 11.8 grain. Not as well in the wind. Uh, accurate rifle as well this one. Uh, I want to get down the range on Tuesday as well as taking this I'll be putting it through the retail which has got a polygon barrel we'll see, if, we'll see how this car uh, this that barrel it's, uh, some uh, rifles are more suited to slugs than others but uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that so far good results and now uh, the uh, Wild man slugs. So we work with the 11.8 grain and the 13 grain. So the next time you'll see me now, we'll be down at the range and we'll be shooting 40 yards. Okay, target <coughs> target set up at uh, 40 yards. It's a bit misty up there, I think I'll get the camera a bit closer so you can see better. Okay folks, I'm down at the range, it's Tuesday morning, it's quite uh, foggy this morning so the camera I normally keep down here pointing up there, I've had to get closer so uh, there we go uh, First up will be the HP disc based 177 slugs from uh, Wildman and these weigh 11.8 grains Range to the uh, card is uh, 40 yards. Going to go for the number one target. Thank you. 
Okay. Don't seem to like these, does it? Next up is the 13 grains. Like I say, a lot of this is down to suiting the barrel as well. So. I'll go for the uh, top target. do next is to uh, take the magazine out of the equation off single single shot loading so you might not like the uh, distance to the target it might be the wrong place for it target hmm. not not too much difference okay so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go across to my retail rifle, which has got a polygon barrel on it. We'll see if that, uh, that suits the slugs any better than this one. Might just mean it don't like them at 40 yards. Uh, okay, we'll get up with the next rifle then. Okay then, over to the retay. Uh, tried putting uh, the slugs in the magazine, but it's a bit loose in this. Uh, so obviously the uh, don't fit as tight as a pallet. So put them through the single shot loader. All right. Bottom number one target. the right a bit, I don't know if it's going on.
go for the left hand target and then right hand target in fact no or not I'll go, for, I'll go for the top actually I can see there's one gone in the top target See if it hits the same spot. for the barrel. Right, not even much luck with them. Those are the 11.8 grains that don't seem to be doing very well. So, based on that, I mean, I might have another. I've got, I've got a few more offers that I can try, but uh, the 11.8 seem a bit loose in the barrel. So, I'll go with the 13 grain. Target number two. Obviously, these are heavier. I didn't see the point of impact there. I'll stick a new target up for the 13 grain. And we'll get a better perspective now. target set up. So it's just 13 grains. Go for the zero target. Right. 
Alright, I'm gonna go. Target number one. That's going over to the left, right hand target. Just keep. I'll fire these four more and see where they all end up. Right. At 40 yards, it, it's not grouping through either rifle. But like I say, they do seem loose, loose fit in the magazines. So maybe they're not wide enough for the barrel. I mean, I've got a Daystate Wolverine, a Brocock Concept, BSA. R10 but I tried it through the R10 and uh, it didn't group with that one at all so not at 20 odds so I'll, I'll bring it into 30 and see if it improves I mean it might might just be spiraling at the 40 yard position but we'll soon find out when I bring it in another 10 yards but uh, I, know, I know the slugs work well through all the rifles because I've seen them on YouTube uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll stick another target or bring it into uh, 30 and see if we can get any better result. Right. Put the target into 30 yards now. See if that makes a difference. See what I mean? Just go straight through. Probably too uh, too narrow for the barrel. <sighs> okay, then gonna go for the uh, bottom left target. I think that went where it says wind in between the N and the D. Find the shot. That's it. It's not grouping. That's the uh, 7 o'clock position on the target I've just been aiming at, bottom left hand side. I've just gone in where it says pellet on the E. Well, I was looking at the forecast and I knew it was windy through yesterday and I knew it was dropping off today and it's alright tomorrow as well. But uh, that's why I came down today, but I didn't expect the fog. Well, this is one of my retail that I've been working on. Oh, right. Uh, I've been trying slugs from Wildman. I'm not, I've not had much luck with them through the barrels though that I've tried up to now. But I will try it through the Day State Wolverine and I'll also try it through a uh, Brocock concept. Okay then, so 
with a magazine and go for the top right target. So, I'll try on a couple more rifles, probably tomorrow morning, and we'll see if they improve. Now the following day, Wednesday morning, uh, ten past seven in the morning. Got the Daystate Wolverine Mark One, and I've bought down the break up concept. Uh, set a target up at thirty yards. I've zeroed this with TSB uh, aided, so I'm hoping we're going to be near enough because I'm down to my last. 12 slugs now in the 11.8 range. So let's take the, uh, the day state. Likes the slugs better than the other one, but uh, so far I'm not had much luck. So I'm going to go for the top target. Likes this barrel. Very nice. So it's all down to barrel choice. So I've said before, certain pellets don't like barrels where others do. That's the same with slugs. Just one hole there, look. So I suggest if you ever buy slugs, buy the sample packs before you go all out. Yeah, we're going through the same one about half an inch. So it's 30 hours today. That's it. So if we can get them to group at, uh, at 30 yards, they should group further out. Might as well fire the other two. So, uh, yeah. Dave State Wolverine certainly likes the 11.8 grain slugs. It's the only ones, it's the only one of the rifles it does up to now. See what it's like for impact. Just pan back a bit. Right, there are some blood. 
blocked to the right hand side. It's got some weight behind it when it hits. And the one next to that. So, excellent through the uh, Day State Wolverine. I was beginning to worry because uh, when Mark Gilbert uh, contacted me, he said it was working well for his uh, Air Arms S510 regulated and his uh, FX Impact. And I was beginning to wonder what it's what's going off with these 11.8s are just not grouping well this obviously it shows that certain barrels prefer different slugs so that's 11.8 so uh, a nice a nice weight actually because it's not much more than the heavy busy magnums or the barracuda max so it will suit a 12 foot pound rifle if if the barrel likes it so uh, if you're going to get some uh, I'd suggest getting a sample pack first, see if, you, if your barrel likes it, and then if they do, just buy 100, 200, whatever. But, like I say, slugs aren't really designed for target shooting because they cost too much. They are designed for people that go hunting. They, they provide maximum impact from the olive point and the extra weight. Uh, okay then, moving on. I'll now go over to the... Uh, heavier 13 grain so I'll just continue rolling on uh, so I'll, I'll give it some elevation uh, obviously the uh, the Hades that I've got zeroed in they weighed 10.34 grains the slugs weighed 11.8 and that's why it's dropped below the actual uh, target that I was aiming at so it's all about groups at the moment once you get a nice group then you can zero them in but uh, yeah if your barrel likes them that 11.8 is a good choice for a 177 should still get uh, should get good uh, flattish sort of uh, Just uh, imagine it as a 2-2 at 11.8 grains and that'll be a bit like the Predator GTO so you'll be coming out faster and flatter than a normal 2-2 would so that's in 177 now. Okay then. Um, Goes. 13 grain uh, Wildman slugs and for the bottom target. Down just a bit. did well again with the 13s. Uh, that's a one inch splatter target but obviously when you hit the splatter targets they open up more than what they actually are so it's within an inch put it that way. So you see I'm kind of shocking all these we've got on here to target. Uh, I've not I've not panned back. What I will do is I'll zoom in when I've done the uh, shocking all. 
should see the wire axe as well, or wire axe, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Shock and awe on the targets then, on that target frame. Go for. Certainly it's them we're seeing for. That's it. Brilliant. So we've got a result, uh, 11.8 and the 13 grain shoot really well through this. So like I say, before you dive in and get slugs, get, get your sample packs first and, and find out what work. Uh, I'm sure if, if you get contact with Wildman and, and, and say you want to try different ones, and probably make you a pack up and then when you find out what works and you can buy some so sample packs are there for that reason I think about £6.50 so uh, you'll just get to see how well they perform in your particular barrel so uh, what I'll do now uh, I'll bring the target in and we'll put up the, uh, the break up concept and that's one of the original ones not the ones that Day State do now like I say, it's got a wire rack barrel on it. Uh, Day States use uh, Lothar Walther. So, uh, up next, break up concept. Before I uh, zeroed in with the uh, Hades, pretty much laser accurate with the, the Hades at 30, pallet on pallet, so hopefully it'll be the same with the slug. Uh, I gave it some holdover for the extra weight, so uh, hopefully I'm in the right ballpark. for the uh, top target. Top right. wasn't grouping like the day state so that's the 
bottom target now. don't like them, but I know a gun that does. So that's it, it's all about finding a barrel that likes a particular slug. I mean this might have done well with the 11.8, I mean that was 13 grain I just shot. I might as well put them back through the uh, Wolverine now. Uh, and push it further back now, I know it groups. So do that. Grain slugs from Wild Man. 40 yards. The top target. Seems to do better at 40 than it does at 30. Uh, some, of the, some of the subs have gone slightly right. But the wind's every now and again it's blowing over. I don't know if you can see the flag from that. I don't think you can. Let's pan back a bit. There's a little stream up there on the right hand side. Every now and again it blows to the right. And I think that's what's causing uh, those slugs to go a bit right. But I am feel that confident with that, I'm going to shove it out to 50 now. Uh, I'm out at 50 yards, I've given it 12 clicks of elevation, I'm expecting it to drop but we'll see. Bottom target then. Again, did well 50 yards. You can see a line going left to right, right to left. Okay, two slugs left. See if I can hit some on the frame. Yeah, I remember that one. 177, is it? Yeah, 105. 
one of five, but yeah. That was, was that one on the list? But yeah. I think we should get him rid of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice buy that one, Cliff. Yeah. Well, I thought to the Wolverine, then I did some parking and I ended up with another Wolverine. As far as mechanical rifles go, they're so silky smooth to shoot. Yeah. Uh, Hello folks, uh, back at base with the four rifles that I uh, had in the test. Uh, some some uh, groups were good, some were bad, but it all depended on the rifle used in the test and the, and the slug. So, on the uh, initial backyard range I used the Falcon, the uh, Falcon Pro BM Light Hunter, which I've got just here. And uh, the initial backyard test was the uh, 11.8 grain slugs. I was achieving a 50mm group at best, and with the 30mm slugs, I achieved a 10mm group. Uh, then on the Tuesday, I went down to the range and I took the Falcon and I also took the uh, the Rite. Uh, Again, I was getting decent groups. Uh, at 40 yards, I got an inch group with the Falcon, uh, and that was with the 13 grain slugs. It didn't seem to shoot the 11.8 so well. I put both through the return again, uh, it just didn't group. Uh, and then this morning, I went down to the range, tried two more rifles through it. That was the Brocock Concept, the original Brocock, and the uh, Day State Wolverine Mark I. Uh, had really good results with the Wolverine, and not too bad with the Brocock Concept, to be honest. Uh, although by the time I got to shooting the Brocock Concept, I'd run out of the uh, 11.8 uh, grains. Uh, so I, only, I was only able to put the 13 grains through it. Uh, at 30 yards, the best a break up could achieve was one and a quarter inches, which is not brilliant. Uh, but then we came on to the uh, leader of the pack, which was the Day State Wolverine, and that really liked the slugs, both of them, to be honest. Uh, at 30 and 40 yards, I was achieving an average of 18 millimetres group with the Wolverine which is the size of a five pence piece. Uh, it taped up a bit at 50 yards because I had, I had lateral wind uh, but that still came in at just over an inch at 50 yards, only just over about an inch and one sixteenth. So uh, that was with the 13 grain slugs. As I say, I'd, I'd run out of the 11 8, so I couldn't try it at the longer ranges. But uh, yeah, I mean, depending on the rifle used in the barrel, uh, it will light different slugs, either better or worse than others. So uh, I hope that's a, a good test I've done for you. Uh, being as honest as it can be, try to get the best out of the slugs. I, th I think you agree that. Uh, if you've got the right uh, barrel for the slug, it will shoot really well. And I think the day states prove that, and the falcon as well. Uh, but yeah, really pleased with that. I mean, if, if you can uh, get shooter inside an inch, which the, the falcon was doing at uh, 40 odds, basically a kill zone. Uh, like I said, the Brocock and the uh, Rite didn't like them so much. Uh, as I say, the, uh, the, the Brocock, this original Brocock, they use a Virac barrel, so whether that will mean the same on the HW100, I don't know, but uh, it, it could do. But like I say, even the same rifle, the same model, same barrels sort of thing can give different results. So that's why I say, if you, get, uh, if you do go and get some source, get some sample packs first. And see what you what you don't like. So it will like some. It won't like others. But uh, yeah, just like to thank Wardman for sending the 13 grain slugs because we had some good results out of those. Uh, 
but there we go that is uh, wild man uh, i'll just show you some of the uh, web page now and uh, what's available so uh, that's it for now on the wild man slugs uh, and yeah i'd, I'd, uh, I'd definitely say yes to the slugs if, if they suit your rifle and if you're into hunting if you want that extra knockdown power if you think back to when I was hitting the, uh, the reactive targets it, it really thumped them hard so uh, it does retain energy more down range than what a pellet would it don't drop off so, uh, so quick in power so uh, thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video Hello folks, uh, this is the Wild Man Slugs website. I just need to go uh, to wildmanslugs.com and then if you go to the left hand part of the toolbar to the shop they actually sell uh, little tubes to put your slugs in if that's what you want. Uh, you've got uh, 177 these are dish based and you've got flat base next to them you got two twos dish based, two twos flat based, two five dish based, two five flat based. You got thirty caliber dish based and thirty caliber flat based. So let's just click on the dish, uh, click on the dish base which I ordered. So you get to the actual website. Now the six pound fifty are the sample pack prices. Uh, you can choose your grain look so this is uh, all in 177 so you've got 11.8 13 15 point and 18 grain there uh, so yeah that's the sample pack price so if you buy 100 say 100 at 11.8 that costs 11 pound uh, 200 18 pound and like I say you sample packs six pound fifty uh, let's see what the other grainage is so as you say you went for a really heavy one sample packs are all the same price it's eleven pound that's the same eighteen pound again so it don't matter which grainage you get they all look like they'll be the same price so let's go back to pellets again we'll go flat base this time you can see it's a flat surface rather than a dish uh, now on these you've got 19 and a half grains 100 pack 11 200 pack 18 they're the same about 21 grains yeah the same price look so that's really good so obviously you're getting that all lead in the bigger ones two twos obviously more lead again so let's have a look we'll go really heavy we'll go 34 grain eleven pounds still the same look so you get a really good value for money there uh two fives Well, they're going up a bit more now but you've got to consider these are bigger slugs and uh, more weight so 30 grain 954 a sample pack oh that's interesting 80, it's still only 18 pounds for 100 of those I oh, don't know that is a bit more uh, yeah because it's twice the weight it's got it's 18 pounds for 200 uh for 130 pounds for 200 so that's still good value a lot of auditing power there so then we go up to the uh, really heavy weights dish base 30 grain sample pack 1250 oh look at the size of these 63 grain looks like the biggest 23.50 for 100 42 pounds for 200 
which are really heavy hitting slug. Really good. So you work uh, that is the shop. Click on the about. It tells you all about the family which I told you about initially uh, and how they got into it from pest control industry, uh, rifle tuning and engineering, performance and harmonic tuning, custom engineering, engineering and repairs. So they're, they're all, they've got their own gunsmith look, so you were looking at it, they'll uh, tune and repair your rifle. So that's pretty good because they could do that to suit the slug. You've got to go over to the gallery. That looks like an FX magazine, it's massive. <laughs> 30 cal. What a little video there, look. Oh, look at all those pigeons. Just imagine the damage a 30 caliber would do on a pigeon. Showing the weight and the coefficients of what compa comparisons with Nielsen. Different uh, pellets. So click back. Uh, in the gallery. So contact details. You need to contact you and send them a message. And they've also got a Facebook page. So there we go. So that's the wild man slugs. Hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.